I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. What's in the box? The clothes and the necessities are changed to more comfortable clothes. That's better. And this place is a dump. Still can't use the menu just yet. Yeah, let's clean. Bit better, but not by much. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad, though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? You bet it's a special item that will advance time. Time is limited, so think about your schedule before you act. But yeah, all we can do is just go to bed. Rest, trial, criminal record. Damn brat! I'll sue! Still, I couldn't let, just let it go. Ah, <sighs> that day. Ended up going home ways. Flashback! And this is the only time you ever get to see the protagonist's original uh, neighborhood. Just get in the car. Hmm? Yeah, man, the woman arguing in the distance. Just go ahead. How dare you, crook? No! Don't give me that shit. of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll... I'll call the police! <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. No! Stop! <laughs> Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths 
and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face. This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car. Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justine. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually.
Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. It'll take a while to get there by train. And the transfers are a real hassle too. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. <sighs> Men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't get me wrong, I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? Hmm. School never changes, huh? Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. You think you can manage? <sighs> Do you even understand your situation? Still, you were expelled once already. <sighs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. That's what it was like at school. People might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. And now, back to today's top stories. 
A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have got to be just... All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Oh, come on. life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. Uh, I, was, I was ready to go for this meeting. And that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh, man. I thought I was going to die. A noisy subway platform filled with people hmm. was suddenly... Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. Damn, to think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. <sighs> Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Here's a diary. Now make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation. There's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? Now we can finally save. I'll just add this. I'm not gonna do it over that. Oh no. It's 
my original file. Thankfully, it doesn't show off anything uh, too important besides my playtime. Off to bed. Hey, it's me. Sheesh, have you forgotten my voice already? It's Sakura. Anyway, I, I closed up shop, but I forgot to flip the sign to closed when I left. It's too much trouble for me to come back just for that. Think you can do it for me? I doubt any customers are going to come now, even if the sign's flipped to open. But I have to say, this is quite a relief. It's a personal policy of mine, not to save a guy's number in my phone. I'm glad you actually picked up. Anyway, I'll leave the shop sign to you. Alright. Lippy dippy. God, that phone is archaic. So fucking old. I'm gonna plug up your toilet. Now it is time for bed. I'm Gaia. Oh yeah, my each chome transfer. Yeah, the first time you have to go to school is a bit of a pain in the ass. I guess you have to do it manually. It's all one big fucking hassle. The app again? it again into the bin with you I ain't losing all my music and my games joy of joys Actually going to school, huh? Here, I'll feed you. Just make sure you finish it before the customers start coming in. What's that reaction for? Just eat it. It's time for you to go. Turns out you do have manners after all. Hurry over to school. You'll end up late if you get lost on the way. Thanks, Sojuro. Don't forget to do that for me, all right? Now, you better hurry on out. You're gonna be late if you get lost, country boy. He's not such a bad guy after all. We go. It's the one touching me. Yeah, that didn't look too good. This is really how it is in Japan. They actually have Japanese and English. Hmm? 
the police aren't commenting on this. I think I need to get on another train. That's absurd. Oh yeah. Just me or does that look like resave? Okay, now you changed it. Yeah, but that blue, uh, that blue one, that one. It looks like resake Fujikawa from Persona 4. Use a line, okay. Mm -hmm. This way. He's alive. Hey, did you hear? Thankfully, later on, it becomes automatic, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, man. Did it say it was going to rain today? Huh? It's raining outside? It just started all of a sudden. This is why I hate the early spring. It reminds me. Did he take an umbrella? Hmm? Who are you talking about? <laughs> don't mind me. So, what'll it be? One house blend, please. The effects of yesterday's subway accident continues on today, as various lines suffer delays and... There's been a lot of nasty accidents lately. You know, I mean the subway accident that the news is talking about. My co-worker got caught up in it and is in the hospital now. But that aside, it's kind of creepy. The people who caused these accidents supposedly went crazy all of a sudden. I heard that some of them suffered from nervous breakdowns during interrogation. Huh. All right, how much, much more of this? I got head over to mm -hmm. Sujin. Want me to give you a ride to school? You're gonna be late. Um, sure, thank you. Do you need a lift too? Huh? Nah. What do you want? You planning on ratting me out to Kamashita? Huh? In that car just now, it was Kamoshida. He does whatever the hell he wants. Who does he think he is, the king of a castle? Don't you agree? No, I, I mean... Hmm? Wait, you don't know Kamoshida? Are you for real? You're from Shujin, right? What? No other high school's got a uniform like this. Huh. 
A second year, huh? With the same grade then. Never seen you before, though. Oh, you a transfer student? <laughs> then no wonder you don't know him. This rain ain't too bad. We better hurry up or we'll be late. Ugh, my head hurts. Damn it, I want to go home. Thank you.